Hello! Slightly blurry, am I? I don't know. Hello and welcome to this week's reading vlog. Uh, I don't have anything new to update you on, as tradition dictates, I film my intro right after my old outro, otherwise I forget to do it, you see. Um, and this is The Other Passenger by Louise Canlish that I'm currently reading, which is okay, it's kind of generic thrillery. I will uh, update you later on. Yo, I am watching The Business of Drugs. Uh, we're in Africa, learning about uh, heroin in Africa. <laughs> my forehead looks massive because my hair's popped up there. Let me put my head down a bit more. Uh, I went to the shops today. I had to get Biggie some treats. It's such a nightmare. I'd wear a mask and go to the shop specifically to get Biggie treats. Although while I was there, I did also get some human treats as well. So there is that. Um, but And it's my fault because I ran out. Uh, I'm still reading The Other Passenger. I've taken the hardback wraparound off now. I've got probably about 80 pages to go and there have been a couple of good twists here. Um, I mean, it's just, as I say, it's very, really, very quite generic, but it's quite well done at the same time. So I don't, I, I'm not knocking it or anything. It's fine, but um, it's not like a groundbreaking thriller or anything like that, but it is quite a competently written one. Uh, it's probably on tr on track for a 3.75, maybe a 4 out of 5. I would say I probably enjoyed it more than um, Gone Girl and stuff like that. I found, find the characters slightly more likeable. Or maybe I'm just getting used to reading about characters or having multiple affairs and stuff. Um, it's never really been something I've enjoyed and it's kind of a staple of this genre, unfortunately. So I just have to kind of put up with it. Uh, my bedtime book, I'm reading Made in America by Bill Bryson, which is a bit of a chunker. Um, quite dense I'll show you uh, and it's about language and how words evolved and stuff so um, yeah in the circumstances it's perhaps not surprising that American English became particularly rich in terms for unsophisticated rustics yokel a word of uncertain provenance it may come from the Germ German yokel a diminutive of Jacob entered American English in 1812 hick a shortening of Richard is older still dating from a 14th century England and common in America from its earliest days among other similar words are hayseed, bumpkin, rube from Reuben, country jake and jay, which eventually gave us the term jaywalker, that is an innocent who doesn't know how to cross a city street. So yeah, as you can tell, it's dense, but it's also interesting, so I am enjoying it. Um, yeah, it was in interesting in a few bits because we were talking about uh, American English terms that come from French as well, because obviously, you know, well, it started, the first couple of chapters have been about like the Declaration of Independence and stuff, um, which by the way was not signed on July the 4th. It was, uh, I think it was ratified on July 2nd, then like officially presented on July the 4th, and then it wasn't, it didn't even finish getting signed until like five years later apparently. So yeah, some interesting shit. Um, my sleep is all over the place. I went to bed about 1am last night, woke up about 7, worked till about half 10, then went back to sleep, then woke up at about 6pm. So now I might be up all night um, watching that chapter, um, which, yeah, uh, somebody just recommended this as a, like a true crime YouTube channel to me, and I'm now kind of hooked, so I'm going through, I'm going to watch all their old stuff. Finish watching Celebrity Master Chef as well. I should finish um, The Other Passenger soon, and then I think I'm going to go on to a Shakespeare, and then maybe some Christie. Uh, we will see. Uh, my radio show went out today. Doing loads of stuff for the art centre. I am so busy, man. I'm so busy. It's good time, but I'm so busy. So yeah, I need to film my next uh, radio show as well. And I've got a little wrap up to do, but no haul. Da -da 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 -da. Hello, it's the morning. It is Wednesday, the 29th of July. Uh, haven't been to bed. So I've been awake since yesterday, been cracking on and being productive. I've managed to make some progress on Lightfold novel number three, which is very exciting. Biggie is out on the porch over there. I finished reading The Other Passenger by Louise Candlish. Overall, I'd give it a pretty solid four out of five. It is what it is, you know, um, fairly generic thriller, really. Uh, if thrillers are your thing, you're probably going to enjoy it. And now I'm currently reading The Merry Wives of Windsor by William Shakespeare. Ah yes, uh, these are the beautiful Folio Society editions that I've got. But it's weird because you open it up this way with that on the cover and then the spine's on backwards. I don't know why that is. Uh, but really enjoying it so far actually. <laughs> um, there's a, just quite a lot of the dialogue has really, really shone for me. So yes, so far it's getting a thumbs up. And actually to the point at which I might then crack on with another Shakespeare after this one as well, if I'm feeling brave. Um, but so far, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like I might do that. I want to do that, you know? How's that hanging? 
As a hanging bro. You're not gonna look at me. You're not gonna look at daddy. What about if I do this? Up, 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 up. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm not gonna look at you. I'm just gonna lift my chin up so you can scratch me properly. Yes. <laughs> Good boy. Yo, Dane is tired and hungover. Biggie is also here. He's come to say hello, haven't you, Biggie? Do, 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 do. Um, it is Saturday, the 1st of August. So, yes, we, we do have this kitty cat here. Um, yeah, so, went out last night, didn't I, Biggie? Daddy went out, and you, you saw your friend. Yeah. Um, so, went to a pub called The Antelope. Actually, we went there for a few drinks, and then we came back and went to the chip shop to get some food. And then we went back there again. Um, and then we stayed till closing time at 1am, but it's there's um, like outdoor seating there So at least it's outside, but it's nice. It's two weeks in a row. I've been out in town, which is nice There's also an open mic happening tomorrow night in Bourne End, which if I'm awake I might go to it. We'll see but um, I think again We're going to the, people are going to this pub. And they're just gonna play some songs out in the garden. So um, Yeah, because at the moment the guidance is still basically you're not allowed to have um professional unless you're a professional singer or um whatever then you're not allowed to play music at places so i think they're actually i think they're only getting around it um at this pub because they're saying basically like old people just happen to show up with their guitars you know i think it's not like the pub itself isn't organizing it because i think if it did it would get shut down um, I'm currently reading The Secret Adversary by Agatha Christie. It's the first Tommy and Tuppence book. I'm about 80 pages in. Um, it's okay so far. I've got some tabs in it. Yes, I know, Biggie. I've got some tabs in it. I've got some tabs in it, so I'm probably going to do a review of it. Um, two ejaculations in it so far. <laughs> um, and that brings us up to today, which is Saturday. So I basically have slept for most of today. So now I'm going to crack on and be productive. Um, I've just been editing Jason's novel, Jason over at Weird, Jason's Weird Reads. Um, we're not, f I think I'm 40 pages from the end now, so not far at all, um, which is good. I really enjoy reading it as well, so um, yeah, and I think he's happy with the work I've done so far, so that's very exciting. And that's it, isn't it, Biggie? Isn't it? Isn't that it? <laughs> yeah, oh, you're going to set my book. Okay, you set my book. Please don't. Please don't bite the tabs out, though. What do you have to say to your fans, Biggie? Hey, that was mean. No, don't bite. You just bit one of my tabs out. Ah, oh, Biggie, don't do that, mate. I'm trying to review it. Look, he bit one of the. He does this whenever my books have tabs in them on the pages. He very helpfully pulls the tabs out of the pages. So now I don't I don't know what page that was from, do I, Biggie? No, I don't know. But thank you for your help. Plans for the day. Hello. They I'm watching seven, that seven. chapter again, which is a, a true crime YouTube channel. So I'm learning about the Springfield Three. As you can see, I've had my ha uh, wash my hair. I've just been in the shower. Biggie's here as well. Um, my two-day hangover isn't actually too bad. I feel kind of okay today. Mostly been productive. Um, I've been working on a lot of things. Um, I've been doing... Ah, oh, hot chocolate. Um, I've been editing Jason's novel, Jason Over a Weird Read, so that's almost done now. Working on a bunch of other clients as well. And I've been working on um, what's currently called Boys in Blue, which is the sequel, uh, the next, next Lightfold book in the series, so... Um, I'm currently on, yes Biggie I know, I'm currently on 31,956 words and my goal, I'm trying to do an average of a thousand a day and so to meet that goal I need to get to 32,000 by midnight, which is very doable because that's only another 44 words, yes, although then I'll stay up late after midnight and start working towards tomorrow's writing goal, maybe even get a little bit ahead, um, I've got some reviews to catch up with as well, so you know. Uh, yeah, I'm still reading The Secret Adversary. It's down here underneath Biggie. Hey, don't bite. That's mean. That's it. Just hold my paw. 
okay. So he's sitting on my book at the moment. So I can't show you, but I'm very near the end now. I think another 30 odd pages. So I might even get that done before I go to sleep. We'll see, won't we, Biggie? Won't we? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. So anyway, that seems like a pretty good place to leave this week's reading vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.